Hey, welcome back. Since everyone enjoyed me talking so much about how the 100% run doesn't really work in Mario 3 with the Mushroom House Spade Guard games, we talked about the earliest known run that I had ever seen of Super Mario Bros. 300% on the All-Stars version by David Gibbons, but I think we should actually go through it, kind of comb it over and see what strats were like. This run was done in 2005. You go to the leaderboard, it says 16 years ago. That is such a long time ago. Everyone has seen the world record for 100%. Let's see what it was like back then. I bet a frog suit makes an appearance. Let's check it out. All right, check out this beautiful quality. A speed run of Super Mario Bros. 3 by David Marshmallow Gibbon. Objective, complete all levels and defeat all Hammer Brothers. No clouds or whistles. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have always liked the extra background and art on the All-Stars version. Look at this! 2005! Wow, I'm actually impressed. I wasn't even expecting to see it like this in 2005. 2005? I wasn't even born yet! Early P-Speed in 1-2? I don't think so. Did he just bump on the overworld map? We gotta see that again. Very slow on the overworld, though. Definitely not early P-Speed. Early P-Speed in this level wasn't really developed until the task came out and then um, uh, Freddy Man, Freddy Anderson kind of developed it a little bit um, for RTA runs. Interesting enough with Super Mario All-Stars, the camera doesn't scroll down as well as it does on the NES. So a lot of people don't like running on the All-Stars version because you can't really see below you when you're coming down from the sky, it's really annoying. That's a decent combo, I like the combo. Is he gonna get a star? Is he gonna wait every time? Oh, that bump on the overall map. Okay, we're not gonna watch all the auto scrollers, but we're gonna watch this first one to see how he plays around. Does he go for the white mushroom house? This is a very authentic 100% run. Try and get as many coins as you can. Make sure to get all the one-ups if you're there. I wonder if he spawns the white mushroom house. Dude, I would love to see Gibbons play Mario 3 now. I think he'd be really good at it. Yeah, those turnbacks. Oh yeah, he's getting the, he's spawning the white mushroom house for sure. Is he gonna do the white mushroom house though? Okay, so he spawns it. I used to struggle beating this run. A long time ago, get off my back, okay? Let's see how the fortress, no really. P-Speed again wasn't really developed until way later. Almost like 10 years, well not 10 years, but a long time. There's that P-Speed though. Smart! Okay, so you know he's put a little bit of work into like the routing of these early stages of the levels. And you have to remember, when he was speedrunning this, if this truly was in 2005, I don't think there was any ever drives. I don't think there was any practice ROM, and I don't think there was any way for David to practice later worlds unless he grabbed the warp whistle and went there, right? Ooh, got hit by that hill. You gotta watch out for that. No peace speed. Does he damage boost here? No. So obviously no fire flower strategies uh, were crazy developed just yet. So we got the mushroom. He doesn't have to worry about it. He's at a pretty bad hammer brother position right here, I will say. I mean, if you were on world record pace, I don't think he's on world record pace though. Okay, I'm guessing he kept the tail here so that he could fly rather than do peace speed jumps. Let's see. All right, he got it. Now, the way he set up his jumps, he's definitely he's definitely run over the gap and not got P-Speed. He got like frame ruled is what you can call it. But luckily there, obviously he got it. It's pretty good. I wonder how much he actually practiced in this. No spade card game. We have auto scroller. Fast forward it. So he does have fire flower, but he's not gonna go for the fire kill. I mean, he kinda goes for the fire kill a little bit here. All right, let's go to world two. Jumping for the wand! What? That's it, I'm gonna have to have a talk with them. All right, world two, let's see. I love the design in the background. Now, the quality of this video, again, 2005, so we're not getting the best quality here. See how the screen like stays higher up? Let me go back here, watch. It scrolls up, but it doesn't go back down. And then it delays when it goes back down, very scary. Look at that, this is pretty good. All right, let's see how he does the fortress. Oh, so close to getting it earlier, but he got it. He got it later. Not bad though. Really not bad. Oh He just had to jump a little bit higher out of the pipe and he would have kept his B-speed. 
it is so weird that I can see every mistake that he's making and I know I know exactly why it happened. And I've made them all before. Not a huge fan of the doors in the Super Mario Wall Stars, but I love the background. I'm also not a huge fan of like the music sound effects. It's very snessy. I really like the NES sound effects. The shells, the stomps, the music. I think it's all great. Using a star on this boomerang, bro, and 100% was not developed until way, way later. Let's see how level three goes. Looking good. See the... Yeah. Oh! Wow. Okay, so you can definitely tell he had an understanding of the P-meter, but it wasn't quite, like, unlocked yet. You know what I mean? It wasn't, like... Uh, it was there, but not there. And again, I think a lot of that has to do with the inability to practice. It's, it's like, when would he have gotten a chance to practice this level, aside from just getting there, trying it a couple times, game over, you know, all that stuff. Okay, there's no excuse. There's no excuse here, right? All right. So I'm just practice. Oh, he's going for the high jump. Very nice. Go for the fireball shots, too. <gasps> oh, man. He almost jumped right into the hill. All right. Nice. Good Hammer Brother movements. Good routing. Let's see what the Hammer Brothers do here. Okay. He's got two stars. I wonder how many fanfares are in this run. I feel like there's going to be a, a, a couple. There's got to be, right? Very nice routing. He definitely did a lot of runs. There's no way he did <gasps> Oh! Wow, he kept it. Oh no, he lost his fire flower. That was the very, that was the first big mistake. You know, I just, it just occurred to me. I wonder if he dies in this run. Oh, he got P-meter screwed over. <gasps> oh, but he didn't get a fanfare, so that's pretty good. Hammer brother moves down. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hammer. Breaks the rock. Doesn't do Mushroom House. Does he die here, though? Nope. Kind of close. Goes back to Pyramid. Very nice. Now, is he going to get the items in the Pyramid? That's the question. No, he's not. Very nice. From watching this, this is kind of how I developed the early stage strats of this level. This just like the early, early days. I wonder if he's gonna run right into the wall. Oh, he's... See what I mean? Just, just that right there. The fact that he stopped for that that beetle tells me that it's very hard in this time, like these these times for him, for him to practice because he could just run right under. If he was, if he had a save state for like five minutes, the level would look completely different. Watch the boss here. The boss gave a pretty decent pattern, of course, of course. The run, the run shoot. No off-screen wand grabs in 2005, are you sure? Are you sure? Let's see if he does the jump out of the water strat. Nope. Oh man, look at this quality, the pixel blocks and stuff. All right, I am super duper curious on how he does this. No P-Speed, obviously. Is he gonna go through? No Firefly, he's gonna get the star? No, no star. Wow, Gibbons doesn't care. He didn't go through any fish? When, uh, when I first started speedrunning this game, I used to get annoyed that people who played this on the All-Stars version had an advantage because they can see through the water. So they can know where enemies are and fish are and stuff. It used to bother me because I played on the NES version. Don't bother me anymore though. No fanfares yet, I'm impressed. No fanfares, couple bumps on the overall. He didn't go for the frog suit either. How long did he keep it for? Wow! That was good! I can kind of see why I did struggle with this a little bit. Alright, the fortress. No peace feed here. Yeah, early peace feed in this level didn't quite exist. Until uh, Tassers and uh, myself for RTA. Not not quite for Tassing though. Ooh, missed the stair jump. No door three? Come on, Gibbons. What's going on? All right, pretty saucy hammer, brothers. They're not quite working out for him. Oh, bottom pattern? He's gonna- <gasps> He doesn't die here, right? He, 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, gets the hammer. And we've talked about this hammer before, haven't we? So he's gonna do this level first because I think he wants the P-Wing the next level. Gonna go with the slide. Whee! Get P-Speed. Um, oh! He could have got P-Speed. I think he... I think if he was Big Mario, he would have got P-Speed there. But Small Mario is very scary. Oh, he got Runaway Bro! That's kind of funny. Do you see that inventory too? He knew the P-Wing was there. That was good. Is this the fly? Ooh, that was tight. Ooh, and that Hammer Brother ran away. That's the time losses in 100%. Okay. 3-7. Big jump, yeah, the panic big jump. Because no practice, not much you could do. And I feel like he feels like he got lucky. I feel that he feels that he also feels that I feel that he feels he got lucky. Because sometimes you can't take damage when you do a full big jump there. And that's why us RTA runners kind of stopped doing that full big jump there. Ooh. No frog suit either. God, wasn't Mario 3 such a good game? It still is. It still is. I got, I'm not ready to hang the jacket up quite yet. Very nice. He hasn't died yet, and he hasn't got a fanfare yet, which is pretty good. Oh, not worried about that boss bass. Very nice. It does get a fanfare here, though. He's so lucky because what he's doing is not a sure way of avoiding three stars. He just he happened to get lucky. You get peace speed here. H jump? No way. There's no way we see an H jump. No. Again, he had the right idea of this level, but the issue is... Oh, they got rid of the soft lock there. The issue is practice. That's all it was. Had he practiced this level, he would have known. If I jump on the second one, can I make it over? You can tell what kind of player he is. He's obviously curious about strats, but the lack of the practice tools... All right, let's get through the airship and get to the boss. So as you can see, he swapped out his fire flower for uh, tail. I don't want to go for the fire flower kill. Ooh, good damage anyways. The aggressive stop. Nice, very nice. See you later, Wendy. World four, everyone's favorite world. Uses a mush uses a music box here to put them to sleep. Very nice. Not a bad strategy. Okay, he's not going for the power up. No P-Speed. We are really going to start to see some uh, failure in strats of, you know, the strats we know of today. It's not like he's failing. I'm saying we are not going to see any updated strats at all. And we're not going to even really see where some of the strats you guys watch today uh, come from. Right? Like, are we going to see double block grab or anything? Or P-Speed? We're going to see P-Speed here, but no turn back, right? So he loses it anyways. All right, let's see how this level's done. You know he's gonna get P-Speed here. Ooh, he touched the pipe, so no P-Speed here. But he got it back. Oh, I'm not sh We're never gonna know. It looked like he knew he had something in mind, and he had to do this backup. We'll never know, guys. I'm curious, I wonder what made uh, Mr. Gibbons stop running this game. I'm curious, because He's obviously made mistakes in this run, and he's a good Mario 3 player, so he knows it's not as good as he could have done. I wonder why this is his last or only run. I don't know if he did runs before this. I would like to know. Trivia! Is that the first cloud you get in the game? Write in in the comments below. Is that the first cloud you get in the game? If not, where would you get another cloud? Where would another cloud be? Very nice fortress. Secret pipe! Again, lack of practice. Not his fault. We're gonna avoid the boom boom stomp here. All right, does he lack a two? Oh, you can't even lack a two jump at the top. That's right. Nintendo deliberately lowered the water in this level because they knew they were like, no, we didn't. I don't think they wanted anyone to jump to the top to begin with. He's got two hammer brothers left. Those are pretty good hammer brother positions. Hopefully he gets a movement to the right. A movement of one. Come on, movement of one. Yeah, you got a movement of one. Let's go. Nice and slow. 
No, um, no helpful tips or strategies for beginners to be found here. See, and that's the weird thing. Most uh, Mario 3 runners, or, or even most Mario 3 players, and a lot of you watching this, could probably do the level exactly the way you just saw. I think if anyone is interested watching this, and interested in speedrunning Mario 3, you should use this run as a reference. I did when I first started. You'd be surprised how fast you'll get better and beat this run, when it took me a long time to beat this run. I mean, I never even had 100% runs submitted to uh, Speed Demo's archive. To be honest with you guys, I didn't like 100% run. I'm not sure why I didn't like it. Maybe that's a story for another day. Maybe I could do some soul searching and figure it out. But now, I love 100% run. It's one of my favorite runs. Ba -ba -dum. Definitely, definitely no P-meter manipulation early P-speed in this level. We won't be seeing that. But obviously he didn't want to take damage there, so he's gonna have to do the auto-scroller and get the power up there. Uh, we're definitely fast-forwarding this auto-scroller, though. God, this auto-scroller is even slow fast-forwarding it. Alright, let's see how he handles the boss. Oh, he got the meme jump at the start. That's the worst. Oh, even on Super Mario World All-Stars, you go through the boss. Wow, I would have been so scared there. The wand jump, of course. Now, if wand jumps did save time, he'd be pretty good at it. All right, let's see this. He definitely, definitely does not go all the way down. Yeah, nice and scared. You see that? Whoa, this still looks underground. I wasn't expecting that. On the NES version, you're definitely like outside, not still underground. Very weird. Oh, the weight, yeah. All right, how does P-Speed work with this? To be able to jump. Oh, he uses the stairs instead of a turn back. Now, actually not quite a time loss. That strategy right there, a lot of people still use to this day. The runoff. Hammer Brothers first, interesting. Um, here's another trivia. In World 5, why does it not matter fighting these two Hammer Brothers right away? What, why does it make no difference whether you fight these guys first or last? Like, at the end of this section. Like, you could do level 3 and then fight them. So, why, why doesn't it matter? The reason I ask is because he went down, did the Hammer Brothers, and then does level 3 and comes back. So, a little waste of time in routing. Oh! I am not gonna lie, I was not expecting to see this. No double jumps either? This is a true, authentic 100% run. Look at this. Beautiful. Doesn't even want a damage boost either. Could have ran through the spiny to get P-Speed for the end here. 69 coins though, did you guys notice that? Alright, Twisty Castle. I assume this is gonna be quite slow. Oh man, he almost lost it. You can definitely jump over that, but I think he wants to use- Whoa, no? Do you think he meant to duck there or wall rub? All that work to get the tail just to damage boost through that one? I'm not sure why. I love this room. I always liked this room as a kid, the lanterns and everything. All right, here we go. Definitely no P-Speed here. But he's gonna hold forward the whole time. So the difference here, it seems like just P-Speed versus not P-Speed, that's it. You know, it's kind of good that Dave Gibbons did not open Pandora's box with practicing and learning all these P-Speed strategies. You get sucked in, man. This game, this game is addicting to speedrun. Fortunately, the tail makes this level quite slow, but... I mean, for a casual player or a casual run-through of this level, he is going fast, so... Oh, is he gonna get an accidental coin ship? Oh, movement of four, rip. All right, auto scroll, let's get out of here. Another movement of four, go to the right. Uh, one Hammer Brother movement left to save the max amount of time he can in this situation. Another trivia question, what are those enemies called? The guys that bounce up and smash down the blocks. All right, let's see. Oh, you got another movement of four, the Hammer Brother stuck behind there. That's so unfortunate. No Jesus clip, really? They put the lava on the ceiling. Look at it. It's like having a level with water on the ground and then water on the ceiling and in between there's no water. Like, Nintendo would never do that. Oh, was that intentional damage? All right, he's got two stars. I cannot believe he still has not got a fanfare. Considering that what he's doing is not a legitimate way of guaranteeing you not getting a star, it's crazy. Oh my goodness, go. Go, Gibbons, go. I can't believe he hasn't died yet. Oh, man. Does he get a fanfare here? 
Yep, I knew it! The World 5 crumbles. Oh, auto-scroller? Let's get out of here. If you're not gonna watch me play an auto-scroller on YouTube, you're most certainly not gonna watch him play an auto-scroller, so don't give me any of that go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You got a pretty good boss battle here. Very nice. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that jump. Any off-screen one grabs? You got a momentum jump, though. World Canadia! Early P-Speed? Pipe Rub? No, Fire Flower for sure. Like, the ice and snow background in this world is so much better. In the original Mario 3, it looks like fucking 90s bed sheets. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I still love Mario 3. Let's not do an auto-scroller first. Oh! He actually landed on both the notes. If he would have committed, he would have made that jump. <gasps> oh my gosh, you could just make that jump. You could just full big jump past that. That is scary. Now the trivia, is that the last hammer you can get in the game? Is that it? Definitely not going to see damage boost here, right? God, the scrolling on the SNES is so weird. No spam jumping? A little bit. Is he going to use a star? <gasps> the star strat didn't exist yet! Again, simple practice. If you would have played around this level for like half a day, just messing around, having a good time, practicing things, would have obviously discovered the star. The star kill, there's no way. <gasps> oh man, it's, it's crazy how he hasn't died yet. It's very easy to die in this game. Nice, duck. Duck under. Commentary's curse, is he gonna die right here? No, nice, no star, that's good. Nice, good hammer brother. I think there's still one extra hammer brother left. There, you know, what he's doing in these hammer brother battles, I see a lot of beginner runners do. They start the battle and shoot two fireballs instead of shooting one, and then jumping up and shooting a fireball at the set guy. Okay, this level, is this gonna be a disaster or what? I guess the star, very nice. Nice. I don't blame him, it's a security blanket for getting that star, but if you think about it, he didn't use that star for anything. The star didn't, didn't do, I don't think he killed a single enemy with that star. Now, in 100% runs, you don't normally have Fire Flower here, so this level is actually not a disaster for him. Pretty good. <gasps> oh my god, he almost got hit like four times there. See? You start the battle shooting two Fire Flowers. Look at that cloud. Oh, he's going for the leaf. He's going for the leaf. Makes sense. He wants to fly up. He got very lucky with that leaf. Is he going to go in the pipe, though? Yes. Shortcut, I guess. It's so crazy how in old school Nintendo compared to, you know, old school Mario compared to what we do now, that a clever trick in this game was to simply hold the shell and fly. Now, mainly because people weren't doing that back then, so nobody would think about really realistically, you know, doing that. But nowadays, if you go to, if you go to YouTube and type in like Mario 3 or Super Mario World Kaizo, you don't know what the fuck's going on, man. It's all over the place. All right, Ice Fortress. Is he gonna do the fly? No, no, f wow. See, stuff like this is always surprising to me. Is that like, you have the tail and you know you can fly, but why didn't he think about trying to use flying there? It's not his fault. I mean, it's an underdeveloped game at this point, and it, it, would, it would rely up to him to do all these tricks. And again, with the lack of practice, it's hard to test these things. It's not how speedrunning worked back then. You just turned it on and went for it. There's barely any practice. Ooh, check this out. He gets, he, he jumps on the hill. Gets that slow speed. Oh, that's the worst part about hills. Nice. Speedrunners still use that trick to this day. Minus the damage boost, though. He does not. Does that count as H? I think that counts. Oh, he did the block dupe. You guys see that? He duplicated a block. That was pretty cool. Now, I highly doubt we're going to see crazy, intricate. Yeah, P speeds. You guys think that David Gibbons has watched. The 100% world record right now, the one that's right now, or do you think he's, do you think he's kept up with Mario 3 speedrunning? Or do you think he's moved on? Do you think he's like a family man, business, has no idea with gaming anymore? How old do you think David Gibbons is here? I don't know anything about him. If David Gibbons could message me on Discord, I'd, I'd ask a lot of questions. Or just write in the comments below if you're, blink twice if you're here, you know? There's so much to ask. 
T Wing 69, now that is a must, as always. We all do that. He is very scared of this fortress. Oh! He got a ball right to the face. Let's go back and take a look at that. Yo! Well, he got a ball to the back of the head, actually. This run has actually been pretty refreshing to watch. It's been pretty fun to watch. All right, World 7 clip. I don't even think it existed back then. I mean, maybe if there was a Tasser. The weird thing about it is that clipping existed. Anyone who played Mario 3 as a kid obviously accidentally clipped in places, but to apply that logic would be hard here because you don't know that the end of the level is exactly on the other side. You don't know that because you can't fly over this level. So you have no idea that these two walls here are connected. There's no way to tell. So you would never even think to clip. And honestly, I think back then in 2005, if he did clip, the run probably would have got rejected for cheating. Oh, we're using a P-Wing in this level. That's a good idea. Whee! Super Mario World strat here. Is he just gonna fly spam the whole level? Yep. Fly spam the whole level. All right, level three. Is he gonna damage boost for P-Speed? I think he really wants to keep his tail for the next level. God, can you guys believe that I used to watch this run when I first started playing Mario 3? Now, granted, when I started playing Mario 3, this run was quite old already. 2005, I started in like 2009 was when I first picked it up and was like, this is sick. But can you guys believe I used to watch this and I used to just like wish that I could beat it. I could be as good as this person and beat it. Auto scroller, water auto scroller. All right, so he's gonna go back, right? Fire flower. Ah, so P-Wing, he didn't want to use P-Wing first because he didn't want to lose it. Now, P-Wing's the right play in the official run. Not that this isn't official, but you know what I mean. Is he going to sexy slide here, tail swipe? I don't even know if he tried to duck there. Ah, the, the, the panic flies, he's like, there's no way I'm falling through. He's not done the piranha plant stage yet. I think he doesn't want to lose his P-Speed. Or his, uh, his leap. Does he do the plant now? Yes, he does. Star is, uh, is the right move. That's why. That's why he wanted to do the fortress. That's probably not the first time he's made that mistake. Alright, World Seven's almost done. He's gonna use a star here. I assume he's gonna get the, the other star, too. Hand over your stars, game. Now, is he gonna take the hammer suit shortcut? Now, is he gonna get the hammer suit, though? No hammer suit yet, huh? All right, any pipe clips? We're gonna see some seven seven? I don't think so, guys. All right, nice Mario Maker level. Let's see if we got a sound glitch here. Stop there, but he made it. No P-Wing or Leap in this level, huh? It's obviously not lagging as much as it does on the NES, right? Does the SNES not lag as much? And I know what you're all thinking, oh, maybe it doesn't, and then the SNES version's faster. No. Every time you start a level in the SNES version here, it says Mario Start, and you lose time there. In the original version, it doesn't say Mario Start, so... No way you'll save back that lag time. The hardest level for a casual player right here. And uh, I have, I, I'm not, I have no problem saying that this, that he's a casual player here. Compared to what we've done to this game, this is pretty casual. Very nice. <gasps> we got the power up. Now I wonder if he's just gonna damage boost the end section. That would make sense, right? Very nice. Wow, this is scary. Just a star. That's so scary. All right, let's see you in World 8. World 8 looks kind of cool here, too. There's a lot more depth in, like, the graphics.
And the background here with the tanks are cool. God, it looks so much better on the original version, or on the SNES version. It just looks so much better. I love it. Sounds worse though. All right, how many hand stages do you think he gets pulled in by? Now, in 100%, you still press A to enter them. Wow, he almost used a warp whistle there, but he did not get pulled in by this stage. It's a star, a tail, and no P speed. You can't enter pipes because there's somersault. All right, he got pulled in by the middle hand. Oh, he got two hands. Get wrecked. Those of you who are watching, do you guys think you could beat this? I want you guys to beat this. What is this, one hour and like 24 minutes or something? Look at that, he saved the P-Wing for this level. If you guys could get good at this level, then you could use a P-Wing for 7-9. Big time saves. All right, 8-1. See, even 8-1 looks really cool with the bushes and the trees. Oh, so cool. Is he gonna take the pipe? No, he's not gonna take the pipe. Is he just gonna fly to the end? Get some run speed here. Yep, just fly straight to the end. Are we gonna take the sand, the sands of shame? Yep. See, you just practice this level, you'll save like 13 seconds on him or something. Like nine seconds or some crap. It's awesome. All right, last fortress. Use the star. Is he gonna get the fire flower? No, fire flower. So many H's in this game. Why? Why is there so many H's in this game? There's lots of P's. There's P's and H's, and a a H's and P's. So what's with all that? Ah! Oh. oh, very nice. Can imagine he died here? I think the fact that he hasn't died is what makes this the most impressive run of its time, right? Like, the odds of somebody else being able to do all this without dying was pretty low back then, I think. So I think this is why this was his, like, golden run. This might be why he stopped. No hammer suit or fire flower on Bowser. Showed those stairs he's boss, though. All right, does he get this clip, though? He's panicking, he's nervous! Bowser's the only person who's got pictures of himself all throughout his castle. Only Bowser. No significant other. No Goombas, no Koopas, no army. No birthday parties, no staff meetings, nothing. It's all Bowser. Alright, so he goes for the stomp kill. Very nice, Gibbons. This was the first 100% run that I had ever seen. I think it's pretty good. This run for its time, I think was really good. Dave didn't die at all and got, what, one fanfare, I think it was. Did a lot of safe strategies, managed to clutch the run out, and this run lasted a really long time. So I would love to hear what you guys all think uh, in the comments section below. Tell me, please, what is your random speed run time of this game as like a casual Let's Player or anything like that? And let me know if you guys think you could actually beat this. Do it! You should do it! Thanks you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, take it easy! Woo! Happy Halloween! Woo!